At the beginning of the year when you're working on the yearbook, none of the class pages have students in them. Um, so you have to flow the classes in there. Um, the nice thing about it is you don't have to create the classes. The classes are created by LifeTouch when the pictures are taken. Um, that's why they take pictures by classes and all of the classes are kind of created that way. Um, <clears throat> all you have to do is flow those classes in with the correct teacher or um, you know, with the correct teacher onto the correct teacher's page. Um, when you have to start editing that teacher's page because students have moved or, you know, students have left or, you know, whatnot, um, that's what I want to show you. Um, it's very simple to um, flow a teacher's page initially, but changing it and making edits when students have left and unflowing a page can be a little bit trickier and I wanted to have a video for you to see how to do that. Um, so I'm going to, as with most videos, start back at this home page so I can kind of lead you through that process. Uh, so here we are again obviously back at the home page just like most of the time you're going to go to the build section so we're going to go there um, <clears throat> we are going to let that load here <laughs> um, I do have a couple that still need to be adjusted so I'm just going to go ahead and do one that needs to be done so you can see what that needs to look like so we're going to go to Miss Stevie's classroom here. So I will select that so that brings me to a more up close version of her page so we can work on it specifically. So once it loads, all right, you can see what that looks like. I'm going to kind of scroll down a little bit so you can see down at the bottom. Now, as you look down here, if there weren't students loaded specifically on her page, it would actually give us an option to flow and then we could pick what teacher we wanted to flow in there and that's all you would do is just pick her name and it would put her students there and that's all you do at the beginning of the year um, since I have already done that that's where now it gives us the option to unflow and I have to unflow uh, Renessa's students because she has um, a student that has left and is going to need to be removed from this area because she's uh, the student is no longer here so I'm going to unflow her class because we have to do that before we can remove the student all right so it's you know telling me there are 22 portraits that are currently in there and I'm gonna say yes I want to unflow conform confirming yes I definitely want to unflow and once it processes that you're gonna see that all of the students have been removed so once I have done that it's a little bit scary but yes I'm gonna go ahead and need to save <clears throat> and I'm gonna say okay and then I am actually going to come over here to this section this is where I can actually do some of the work on the pages um, and I am going to go to the image galleries and I'm gonna go to the portrait library because the portraits are where all of the official um, portraits that were taken by LifeTouch are at and I am going to come down to Renessa's class Oh, you know what? I am super wrong here. I apologize. I'm going to come up to libraries. Gets a little tricky sometimes. I have to play around with it for just a second. <clears throat> now, once I'm in libraries, then I'm going to come down here to portrait libraries. 
and then I'm going to <clears throat> go to Renessa's class. And you can see that Renessa's class has not been flown into her page because it's the only one that says flow that it's not been flown in. So I'm going to select here and that's going to let me see her class. And you can see that um, these are all the students that are currently connected to Renessa's class. Now, according to the page that she gave me, I have a student um, that needs to be removed that is no longer here. So it's this little kiddo right here. So I'm going to select his name and I am going to unclick use portrait image because I do not want him used in that page since he's no longer there. So I'm going to make sure his box is unselected. I'm going to save that change. He is the only one that she has told me on her page that I sent out that is no longer there. I'm going to close. And that's it for her class. So that is all I have to do for Renessa. I can go back to the portrait library and I can actually, if I want to here now, say flow. And it's going to flow this sort down to 21 students or 21 portraits connected to her on page six and I can flow that sort. It always takes a minute to process. And you can see now that her page is flown. Now, if we want to double check that, just like always, we're going to go back to build. It's generating a preview since we've made all those changes. It's kind of setting everything up here. And as we can see now, we have Mr. Elijah that we removed is now gone. And that is how we do it. We did the unflow. We removed the one kiddo that needed to be removed that she said is no longer in her class. And we did the flow and we put the students back in again. And that's that.